What's going on, everybody? Um, so I'm kind of I'm gonna do a quick, uh, I guess, walkthrough with the maintenance and everything today. So I'm gonna be focusing on this area, and this is basically like the print head. These are the dampers. Uh, right now, I have my mixer on, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off just for this video, just so you can hear me clearly. So what I use, or I guess the method for like cleaning the print head because I don't completely remove it is I'm going to do the shoe shine method is basically just get some paper towels lay them down over here um show you the quick you know shoe shine method um so yeah I do that about every like couple days just so I could uh get the the print head clean um and uh yeah you're gonna have to do a uh, print head cleaning first and then which uh, I already did my print head cleaning through the computer. And then next thing is just basically doing the shoe shine method. And then I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to just like do a quick like little uh, prime the dampers, just did the white, just so it doesn't get clogged. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need these uh, little swabs, cleaning swabs. You're gonna need a syringe and then strips of paper towels i'm gonna actually use two today so i can show you uh two cleanings because i usually clean it twice so yeah that's base oh and a cleaning solution uh i just have this cleaning solution which is uh for print heads you could use basically any print head solution from your supplier for dtf uh so yeah Anyway, first things first is we're going to turn off the the printer. I should have had it off before this, but just letting you guys know ahead of time, this is just a, a I'm going to do a single take. So bear with me if, you, if I make any mistakes. But anyway, since the printer's off, we're going to turn it back on. And then we're going to want to unplug it right before it starts moving the print head so I'll, I'll tell you when right now it's a perfect time there you go so this allows you to move the print head freely so it's disconnected all right so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the the dampers for white only so it's going to be the one two three and number four you know remove those I don't know if you can see, but they're a little, you know, they're not white, white. They're a little cloudy. You can go ahead and shake them up if you, if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and use a syringe. Ah, sorry. I'm going to use a syringe. Just put it in. Suck out all that old ink. And I'm going to do it uh, twice. I mean, it's just a preference, that's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it twice. And then you could just put it right back into your uh, your ink container. Just make sure you put it in the right one because yeah, you don't wanna make that mistake. And then flushing out the whole system. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good. It looks, doesn't look all gray and cloudy anymore. So this takes maybe about, I don't know, around 10, 15 minutes. If you do this, you know, a couple times a week, it's not that that bad or time consuming, I'd say. Yeah, so do it twice. So I'd recommend, uh, you know, buying syringes and the little cotton wool cleaning swabs the foam swabs or whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I just go ahead and put these back in here, just like that. All right, just move the print head to the right. And then make sure after you, you, you prime them, the dampers, 
um, and you put it back into the your your ink mixer, whatever your ink cartridge. Just make sure you mix it, shake it up, so all that old ink can get mixed up in there. So next is getting the paper towel. What I like to do is just lay it down down here. Perfect. And then run the print head over the paper towel. There it is. And then just add the cleaning solution. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. But just drop it right on the paper towel. You don't have to put a lot. Just a few drops. Um... So then we're just gonna push the print head over the clean solution and then just start shoe shining. That's basically it. Clean that print head, get all the junk out of there. And that's it, and remove it. Well, there wasn't much cleaning to do on that. So I'm just gonna do it once but if it does come out dirty, I recommend you clean it twice or three times. And then after that, um, we're basically done. We just go ahead and turn on the, the printer. Um, I'll make another video on how to clean the, the capping station, which is right here. This little thing right here, I don't know. Let me try to point at it. This right here this area which is your capping station um so if, i guess if you're wondering how do you wet cap you just basically take the solution fill it not completely just enough um cl cleaning solution because you don't want to you don't want to uh basically that bleed back into your print head and then it just like mixes in um and it causes your inks to yeah, just get mixed in with the other colored inks. So it's best that you don't overfill that too much. So anyway, that is basically it. All you're going to want to do after this is just move the print head, turn on your printer. And that's it, really. That's just the, the, the quick uh, print head cleaning that I do. I mean... You can remove the entire print head and clean it, but I wouldn't advise to do it unless you're getting bad prints because then you have the risk of uh, messing up your print head and then a brand new print head is going to cost you anywhere from like 150 to 300 bucks, depending where you buy it. Um, I mean, not that they're not easily accessible to buy, but it can be a pain in the butt because... Yeah, that's an extra, you know, couple hundred bucks you don't want to waste. So, I mean, I've had this printer for, oh, i say almost eight months. Yeah, about eight months. And I haven't, you know, cleaned my print head any different way than this. Just I just keep up with the daily maintenance and do the shoe shine print head method. And I print, try to print every day with it. And yeah, it's been working perfectly fine. So I hope this video has helped out uh some of you out there who have you know questions oh how do i pr clean the print head well i just showed you um yeah so if you guys can please help help my channel out and grow hit that like button subscribe you know put comments down below for the next topics well that concludes the video peace out